Good afternoon, everybody. I am not totally ready for the day. The vlog is still uploading. Um, the baby's taking a nap, but I am going to cook some chili. It is another chili day in Florida. Um, I've been really wanting chili lately, so I'm going to make that. I'm kind of winging a recipe. Tomato-based chili, I mean anything really tomato-y, hurts Peter's stomach when he runs. And so with him back in the swing and running, I'm going to make more of a green pepper chili. And I want to bring you along while I wing it. So I'm starting the vlog early. Happy Wednesday. Hi, Evie. Are you going to help me cook? Are you going to be my sous chef? What do you think? We got the base of the chili going. I realize I don't have chili beans and I don't even think I have chili powder, so I don't even know if this is going to be called chili. But anywho, it's a full onion, salt, pepper, garlic, and then I use the rice cauliflower instead of meat. This is how my Wednesday is going. Oh gosh. I have no idea what you're going to say. Can I pay for the U-Haul now? Yes. That's it? Yeah. I guess if you weren't aware from yesterday's video, I talked about it. Instead of using like a ground meat for chili, when I make it plant-based, I used rice cauliflower. Sometimes. Sometimes I use potatoes, but just so it has a heartier base. It has that consistency of meat, but the like a good amount of veggies thrown in there. And so that's just going to brown up until the onions are translucent. I'm going to put in two green peppers, I think. I am not following the recipe whatsoever. I think I'm gonna put in maybe, actually, maybe I'm gonna do one green pepper, one yellow pepper. Um, and that'll be the next bit, along with like three cups of veggie stock. Alrighty, so that is all in there. I also added some cayenne pepper for some heat. I'll probably add more like hot sauce or something later, but um, just wanted to get this going with the veggie stock. Nice color with the peppers. I think that's all the peppers I'm gonna stick to. Um, and then I added more just normal pepper as well. Pepper, like black pepper. Okay, so now that it's bubbling, I'm going to add in two cans of great white northern beans and a can of corn. I really don't like corn, but I want there to be nice colors in this. And I, I can typically have corn like if it's in soup or chowder or like not on its own. So just switching things up. This whole time I've had it on medium high heat. I'm gonna turn it down just to medium heat. And then the reason I'm starting this so early, it's like 1.30. Um, is chili's best when it has a decent amount of time to cook. Um, so hopefully it'll cook two, three hours, but then it'll go to low. But for now, it's gonna go to medium. And once I added all of that in, I also had like half a container of green chili salsa I added, red pepper flakes, and more salt. Stir all that together. So I was kind of feeling like the chili was a little lackluster. It is a little spicy, but I'm out of cumin. Um, I'm out of onion powder, which are like just like two standard things I would put um, to spunk something up. But I did throw in some paprika and some oregano um, and lime juice. So that's what I'm doing now. And I'm also going to add in a zucchini. I feel like it's pretty liquidy and zucchini will cook and add a nice starch to it, get it a little bit um, heartier. So I'm gonna full, put in a full zucchini. And then once it starts bubbling again, I'm gonna turn it down to low and then just let it cook. Um, I think I'll probably top it with more lime juice. It is tasty, like it's not blah by any means, but it just like, it wasn't exactly what I was 
envisioning. Um, but hey, that's what happens sometimes when you wing it. I will let you know how it is. Okay, one last rogue moment. A drained can of chickpeas and two scoops of salsa, just for some, some spunk. Also, just a reminder, if you are plant-based or you maybe have an egg allergy, saving the liquid from chickpeas, it's called aquafaba, is a great egg replacement, and so just keep mine in a container in the fridge. <laughs> What's going on? Are you calling for dad? What are you doing? Oh no, here comes dad. Wednesday is, is just another Monday for work, apparently, because Tuesday was just another Monday. So I'm stuck in a week of Mondays, but he is making, he's also giving Sarah the weirdest look. And we're not sure why. But he's making it all better. Tonight we're going to do a fun but also low-key night at Springs. I think we're going to get some Rice Krispie Treats because annual pass holder discount is back up and at it. Thanks, Carrie. Thanks, Carrie. I also put in the service request to start our ComEd and our People's Gas services in Chicago because we have to have those accounts set up prior to getting keys, so that's exciting. And work can take a hike is the best way I can put that. So, at least Wednesday's over, right? Today's Tuesday or Wednesday? Wednesday. Oh, I thought it was Tuesday for a second. <laughs> at least Wednesday's over and tomorrow I'll wake up and it's Thursday and it's like pre-Friday, so. Which is like pre-staycation. Which is like pre-staycation. I'm like sad that I'm thinking that way about work again, because it's been the majority of the past three and a half years I've been living a life where it's like, I don't live for the weekend, but work's been tough. Sometimes that happens. I haven't shaved. I feel like a grease ball, but he still loves me. Also, still giving Sarah a weird look. <laughs> ah. Get away from me, Mom. Alrighty, I'm finishing up our dinner. The veggie paninis are red pepper, tomato, and onion. I put them in the air fryer with olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic for seven minutes. And then I put some hummus on this side. So there's that. And here is the chili. It actually turned out really good. So I do recommend this wing in it recipe. Look at these. First stop of the day. We're hip, we're cool, new We're place. with it. I this is didn't even know this place massive. Was here. I didn't realize that. What if there's a five pound? If onion? there's a five pound hummus in there, we have to buy it because we've been talking about it since the parking lot. <laughs> we so, got a five pound uh, Hershey bar fun. before. My dad drove me all the way downtown from the suburbs in the snow. When was that? Uh, like first Christmas together or something. Yeah. I'm excited. I I'm like, more excited now that I've seen it. I was like, why are we going to the m and store? But then I'm like, no, I'm pretty pumped. Chocolate? Oh, the smell. You know who would be so happy right now? Me. Gigi. Just kidding. She doesn't like Mars. Peter always asked my grandma that Mars was her favorite when she does not like Mars. She did not like Mars. And look at those Mickey Mouse stuff. Yeah, I kind of want that hoodie right there. The m and with the Mickey on the sleeve. This right here. I want that in an adult version. Also, James might need his first M&M today. Just a little bit on his lip. James makes that face. The orb. He really does. This is every day of my life and it makes Sarah so upset. I have no, a thousand windows open and a thousand tabs. Next, or, tomorrow I'll show it when it gets really bad. You didn't even see it bad, get bad today. I had, I had 15 Excel windows open. How does your computer even run? It doesn't. So this wall is Cute. It can like interchange colors. 
for the holiday. Texas are the smell gross in here. Do you think? Yeah, I'm getting overwhelmed by the smell. <laughs> it's cool there's milk, peanut, and flavor. You can get things printed on m and Fun fact, our first Valentine's Day, I had our faces. You stole my fun fact. Put on m and Second fun fact. Um, we're gonna get Rice Krispie Treats from Disney World, which are way better than m and Yeah. And I'm just gonna be honest, not outrageously priced. The prices here in this m and store are kind of crazy. Wild. It's but like, I think it's, it's, it's an experience. I think it'd be different if, if it was like something hard to get, even like Ghirardelli, but like M&Ms are everywhere. M and so, so I'm not gonna pay more here than I would just at the store. But I am gonna go get my own custom made Rice Krispie Treat. Cookies Candy Co. One in doubt, look and see if there's some V-Bad available. So we're gonna see it. We might have to buy our weight in it before we move. There's a long line for Gideon's to Checks be expected. We live about six minutes away from the real deal. The original. But this is for reference how big the cookies and the windows were. Case. We forgot they're actually not doing any customizations right now because of COVID, but we still got really nice Rice Krispie Treats. I've never seen them like this in the park, ever. It's Rice Krispie Treat pie. They're big honking pieces. That's why I wanted this over the Mickey Mouse shape. Is I'm just nervous. Oh good, they're still soft. I was nervous they wouldn't be soft and delicious like the normal Mickey Mouse ones. Yeah. yeah. Kicker. Kicker alert. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Baby waking up. Peanut butter, chocolate, chocolate fudge. fudge. Twist. Cheers. Enjoy Rice Krispie, all right? Delish. All right. The fudge I've already eaten my half. I can't do it. No, you have to try it. At least one at least one bite. You, Sarah literally said she hasn't had fudge since she worked here in 2012. Yeah, so in Frontierland, and um, what can I think of it? <laughs> Prairie. From Prairie Post. Um, I would like chop this up like for stocking and stuff. Tell them that thing that happened at one time. You chopped your finger off and it, the blood got all over the fudge and you sold it. No, I actually chopped my finger off though at my job, in my first job after in, college. In Chicago. Yeah, I, I cut my, the tip of my finger off with an exacto knife. And I went up to my boss and I was like, I cut my finger off. <laughs> <laughs> Eat the fudge. Urgent care. Eat Sorry. the fudge. Eat the fudge. Is it delicious? Yeah. I'm so sweet. <laughs> I'm such a sweet person, but. That Rice Krispie was big and sweet. <sighs> We haven't been in here in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Look at these cute Tiana little sticker phone case situations. Cool. So it's part of Black History Month. Pause if you want to read it. Um, this is amazing. Ooh. Original Disney contract. All the Walt autographs. There's one at my mom's house. So here's another black artist in honor of Black History Month, Marlon West. And also Floyd Norman. There's there's a documentary on Disney Plus about him. It's really awesome. I would recommend it. We had to suit up the babe before we go out, but it's only been like two weeks since he last wore it. It might be too small. <laughs> it's too small. We got a big headed kid, okay? <laughs> it's okay. Oh, look at that bubble. Ready to go? Sweet Ooh, sweet. duck lips. Oh, oh my gosh. Here's another soulfully Black History Month little presentation here. Cute. Little trick from the new parents in Disney World. The companion bathrooms, favorite place to change the diaper because they always have a, a changing mat. And it's just a little bit more space to bring your stroller in. A little jam session, a little dance party. Uh, and oftentimes the ones that have these are a little bit more secluded in general. And clean. And clean. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that the cutest? 
cutest kid in town. I love you so much. I do. I can't help it. All right, we gotta go to the car now, okay? Yes. <laughs> Welcome home from Evie. All right, the best. Sometimes I do my running planning accidentally right. I was terrified of coming on this run. Wanted to do a four miler tonight, but it was 45 degrees, feels like 41, I think, put in the phone. And I was like, oh, I don't have any pants, which I need to get before Chicago and snow running shoes, but I was terrified of going out tonight. I have my shirts on, I have a hoodie and my headband. But sometimes by accident even, I pull through. What's happened is with the body heat being captured by this hoodie and the temperature outside and hopefully the continuous lack of breeze, I am at like a really good body temperature considering it's 40 degrees out. The only thing is, and I, 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 this would be an issue if I was going for six or more, is eventually this hoodie's gonna get too sweaty and it's gonna be counterproductive to my body heat and chilling while overheating at the same time. It's a weird thing if you've never felt it, but it happens. Um, but I only have a few more miles left, so I should be good. Very good surprise on my run, which actually boosts my morale to continue going faster and just to get it over with and enjoy it because it is a beautiful night out now that I'm not shivering in my boots. I've been obsessed with this trout and coffee YouTube channel. We'll put the link down below. Check them out. It's just beautiful cinematography and storytelling. James loves them too. Uh, Oh, really? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Are you ready for bed? Are you ready for bed? No, not yet. Want to play? <laughs> the message of the day. Life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. John Lennon. Here's the rub of it. One day, Sarah and I are going to go to the Berkshires or New England, somewhere over there, and I really am nervous that be it either going to Lake Tahoe West or going Berkshires, New England on the east, I think Sarah and I are going to... I'm, I'm nervous about going there on vacation. I'm going to push it off as long as I probably can without my insane side taking over because I'm really nervous that we're going to go visit there, fall in love, and have to move there. I just picture the house from Hocus Pocus, and I want to move there. I watch Gilmore Girls, I want to move there. I watch Child and Coffee, I want to move there. I wake up, think about the beauty of the world, I want to move there. So, with we that... We can just do our ultimate man dream for a little bit. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Don't make my heart patter. <laughs> He loves, he loves the van dream too. Yes. Good night. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>